Hi Libra, this is going to be your reading for the month of December 2021. We'll be checking your recent past, current energy, and near future. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, we'll also get some advice cards. I'm just going to put these back because that's too early for them to fall out. Um, if they're meant to come out, they'll come out again. And if it resonates, guys, like and subscribe. And if it doesn't, please uh, try to check your other placements, okay? The message is a general reading, so it's not a personal reading. Please remember that. Okay, let's see. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, two pages. Um, I'm getting a little bit of an immature energy from you, Libra, like in your recent past. You might even have blocked someone or someone might have blocked you here. Um, I feel like there's blocked communication as well. There's blocked um, passion as well. Um, blocked communication, blocked passion is what I'm getting here. Because page of swords in reverse, page of wands in reverse. Um, I Let's clarify this, okay? I'm going to use the smaller deck here. Uh, okay. Why is the block coming out for my press? Okay, um, again, another reversal, um, and that is Five of Wands. So, I feel like there's some sort of jealousy or competition, a lot of conflict surrounding a situation. Too many people speaking on a topic for some reason. Um, I'm seeing an argument. I'm seeing an argument, which is why communication is blocked, um, and the passion is blocked here, okay? Um, too, mu too many arguments. You might even be have been like arguing quite a lot for the past five days or five weeks okay um, i'm going to just get another clarifier here for one so this is definitely your relationship you could be living with this person okay um that's a relationship right so that's a long-term relationship that you're in and what i'm seeing is a lot of conflict surrounding this like your relationship is struggling because of a lot of arguments might have been happening here Okay, but I don't see you guys separating. I don't see anything bad just yet. We're going to go into your current energy. This is your recent past. Um, yes, I'm seeing a lot of arguments, which is why communication has been withdrawn. And uh, and I don't think it's one person or the other. I feel like it's a mutual, I'm not talking to them until they talk to me type of energy from both sides, not just one. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your current here. Mm -mm. Another reversal, okay. Um, Knight of Cups in reverse again. It feels like no one is willing to apologize right now, okay. It's kind of like no one's willing to, to. Yep, you're both waiting on each other, Libra. What? Okay, we'll get advice on this, okay. It might not even be your fault, Libra, but we'll see, okay. So let's clarify. Why is no one apologizing? Why are you both like just kind of waiting on it? more waiting okay um this person feels like i will see what they feel like but it's like the mutual energy that i'm picking up with, with like between the two of you is you feel the card just fell out of my hand okay you feel like that you have put in a lot of work into this relationship or into this connection already and which is why you feel like it shouldn't be on you to apologize um it could honestly just be as simple as having different opinions here okay but uh, seven of pentacles is you know when you've put in the work and then you're waiting on the results and you're just kind of like hmm when is it going to happen and then two of wands again a waiting card when you're looking out to the horizon you're weighing your options you're thinking before you take any action right so it's almost like you you both feel like you both have put a lot of work into this and you don't want to apologize because you feel like it's the other person's fault but I also don't see a lot of blaming going on. I just for some reason see like, okay, you know how when you have a fight with someone and then instead of discussing it or moving on from it, you just uh, keep quiet about it, just ignore any conversation about it. And even though you're both holding that grudge about that argument or those all those arguments, you're not really discussing it. You're distracting each other by talking about other things. You're waiting on them to apologize. They're waiting on you to apologize. Very specific story. Okay. Um, sorry. Let's see 
what's the near future no actually let's see how this person views you right now okay how does my libra's person view them right now okay king of wands in reverse okay um they view you as someone who's withdrawn from them they almost feel like libra that they, you don't feel the same way for them like you used to okay um not to get too personal i know it's tmi but it almost feels like you guys might not even be having sex for some time that could be the reason why there's a little bit of tension okay um you might just be having like a time where you have a low sex drive or one of you guys have that and the other person feels kind of left out because of that but they view you as the king of wands here very strong headed but also kind of egoistic kind of like not willing to apologize um they see you as some with some stubbornness here okay i'm going to get another card on how they feel about you it's four of coins okay yep they see you as someone um they feel very defensive towards you okay they are definitely holding back quite a lot from you here um okay they're holding back the way they view you is someone who's withdrawn stubborn okay and not willing to open up to them or being warm towards them they feel almost like you're a little cold libra okay now guys feel free to reverse roles um you know if it's resonating with you the other way around it can absolutely do that it is a general reading four of coins again um the way they feel is that they feel very defensive towards you they don't want to be the first one to open up and again libra i don't see you're the one also wanting to open up either as the first person you want them to apologize and i feel like if one of you guys were to apologize here or just initiate that conversation you might get into a teeny tiny bit of an argument but you might also get past this because i'm not getting a bad energy from your relationship the four of wands is actually very promising it's a long-term relationship case okay, so you do make the, each other happy and you're still together you're not leaving each other but it's just like a lingering thing in the year the magician in reverse and nine of pentacles in reverse okay so let's clarify these that's very weird okay yep yeah, you're not leaving each other with the nine of pentacles in reverse the magician in reverse i feel like you're both going to be try to be less controlling for some reason okay weird but okay four of swords in reverse and then you've got okay um so a lot of self-deception okay libra i'm seeing a lot of uh, we've got the eight of swords clarifying the nine of pentacles okay and then we've got the magician clarified by the four of swords it's almost like not wanting to work on it anymore i feel like you guys are just going to keep ignoring this and keep ignoring this until it until one of you guys starts feeling like they're locked in this relationship or like they they're being really controlled okay and i feel like libra this is how you're feeling here you're the one that's feeling very like stuck in this relationship almost feeling like your partner's really controlling and they're they might you might feel like they're gaslighting you okay because this feels like you know it's not your fault but they're trying to make it your fault for some reason okay and you think that's their control tactic here to get the upper hand um five of pentacles in reverse but you're also not walking away from this that's your outcome at least end of this year you're not walking away from this relationship they're also not wa walking away from this relationship so libra unfortunately it's a very stuck energy that you're moving into here now remember guys energies are just how they are right now and i'm just reading where you're headed this is not set in stone okay so remember if you want to change this outcome you can absolutely take different steps like i said if you just initiate that conversation um i feel like the argument might happen but it might be nice to get the air like cleared out like that okay however i will not and never advise you to apologize for something that was not your fault okay but you might want to talk to them about it and make them understand how you're feeling okay this communication this passion that is blocked do something to rekindle that okay um try to get this person to warm up towards you um one thing i do when someone's angry with me or upset with me and uh, when i calm down myself when i'm no longer feeling stubborn and angry and defensive um, when i calm down i try to visualize close my eyes take a few deep breaths and then visualize sending them 
a warm 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 light of love okay like a wave of light i just visualize them wherever i would imagine they'd be right now or what they'd be doing right now or just like their face as clearly as i can their energy as clearly as i can and then i just like watch this like light kind of come over them and it's kind of like my intention is with that light to send them love send them warmth so they can start warming up towards me instead of getting colder okay so that's something that definitely works in my relationship okay um sometimes me and my husband argue and next thing you know like i've cooled down he's calmed down and we like we we, we don't really fight very long to be honest but um i think the longest we've lasted when we were fighting was an hour it's like he comes down he looks at me and we just like burst into laughter because we know at the end of the day we're not cold towards each other and we can't even even we try we're not at that point in our relationship luckily okay it's very lucky to be at that point but i feel like doing that little visualization helps me remember that i love my partner and that's my way of energetically sending them love so if you are a person that believes in energies like me i definitely recommend doing that okay send them some love send them warmth and they might they might you might manifest them to apologize to you okay but let's see what your advice is you're not alone hmm isolation physical connection and community so yes don't isolate yourself here and if you're feeling alone libra please remember you're not alone you always have your higher self to connect with um and honestly even like friends if you don't have friends all you got to do is reach out and make new friends right remember that and um, if you do have friends try to talk to someone you trust okay or try to talk to your family members okay but honestly i would recommend talking to this person you're not alone okay you're not alone in this they are in the same boat as you this is not a good time to isolate yourself but it might be nice to connect with how you're feeling okay it does say isolation here it's like kind of like much needed time to be alone but honestly even though i'm as i'm holding this card i'm feeling that that is not what you need you don't need isolation you need to come out of isolation you need to communicate here um you need to value community right but um yeah that's what i have for you libra please um try to try that visualization exercise it might work really well for you if you have the right intentions here okay and i hope things work out for you if this resonated please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time happy new year's